When I was four years old, I started writing songs. Now, when I was like six or seven is when I started writing songs and would sing them to my parents. And I literally remember one song where the verse was, and I remember how it goes, but I'm not going to sing it for you. Uh, the verse was all about how like I love to make my friends laugh and my family laugh and laughing is my thing, but friends at school think I'm boring. And then literally the chorus then was like the world was ending and my house was on fire and in ashes and we had to run away from these evil people. And that was one song. And I remember my mom telling me when I was six or seven and singing this to her. She said, you know, that was great. <laughs> but you might want to stick to just one topic. And that changed my life. So I started just doing one topic per song and I wrote a lot of songs. I wrote most of my songs between the ages of like 13 to 18. And a lot of these songs have just sat in my books and I've sung them to my friends and I've sung them to myself because ultimately I wrote them for myself. So. I've been thinking about for the last few years of turning them into demos and trying to, you know, become a songwriter or, you know, get a contract with an artist who wants the songs. And if anything, if nobody wants them at all, I'll just release them myself and at least they will exist in the world, you know? And even if no one listens to it, at least it exists. One of the biggest things that kept me from doing a demo, and then I thought, what about Fiverr? Because now, before I thought Fiverr was just something where you literally go and you pay like Santa Claus to shout out your best friend or something for their birthday. However, turns out on Fiverr there's like real professional musicians with home studios. There's all kinds of things, not even just music related. There's just all kinds of things. <laughs> Peter's licking my foot. Hey, stop. <laughs> it tickles. I decided to hire Fiverr musicians to try to complete two demos in a month and that's what I did and I wanted to show you how I did it so the very first thing that I did was I took my little Scarlet Pro audio processor my Audio Technica mic and my keyboard I played and sang the song as I wrote it and then on Fiverr I hired a guitarist a pianist and a string quartet player now the string quartet player was listed at 165 but what I didn't realize was that's 165 per minute so if you have a three minute song that's 165 times three um, I got to him and I said hey look that's actually not going to work but then he replied and he said due to COVID-19 and everything that he's giving people break and that he'd do my entire project for 165 now the first person to get back to me was the guitarist and he sent me this good morning Rebecca uh, thanks for the order I thought I'd uh, just record a quick video to say hello and uh, so that you can see the face of the the person that's been working for you on your track now uh, while I'd got the project set up for you, I took the liberty of basically recording you a, a full production track. I understand that you're new to Fiverr and I wanted to make sure that I give you the best possible experience. And here is my first reaction. My name is Rebecca Donovan and I'm an actress and actress. I'm an actress. And for my 247 beautiful subscriber, you probably already know that. Um, but what we probably don't know is that I'm also a songwriter. Now, I've never done songwriting like I've done acting, as in gotten paid for it. But I've been songwriting since I was, like, born. Now, while I'd got the project set up for you, I took the liberty of basically recording you a, a full production track. I wow. understand that you're new to Fiverr, and I wanted to make sure that I give you the best possible experience. So, mm -hmm. you basically, you, that's all okay for you. Uh, let me know if you've got any issues, if you need anything changing with the track. It's been a, a pleasure working with you, and uh, I hope I get the chance to work with you again. And good luck in Nashville. All right. Thanks a lot now. Bye-bye. That was so nice. Wow. That is so sweet. Okay, full production mix and guitars mix. Okay, let me listen to the full production mix. Oh my gosh, I can't even listen to the rest. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Okay, sorry. Um, I am just crying because I've never heard one of my own songs. Sounds so good. Sound like a real song. Um, 
it sounds so good <laughs> um <laughs> that hit different <laughs> We're back. My friend Nikki is on the phone because I had to call her because I was sobbing too much. <laughs> Here, hang on. Let me put you. <laughs> quick glance. Quick glance. There she is. <laughs> I was not ready for this. Okay. Um, she wanted to listen to the piano part with me, so we're going to listen to that now. This makes me think it's a very, like, say something, I'm giving up on you vibe. Like, yeah, no, you're right. Really, with this version, you could have just an acoustic piano version, you know? And then just have a duet sing it, and it'd be really pretty. Ah. Ooh, lovely. Ah. Oh, thank you so much. Um, I don't know say your name. <laughs> Then about a week after that, I got the strings back from the string quartet. Okay, so it's the middle of the night. It's like a week later. I have no makeup on, I have no lighting, I have no anything right now because I'm in the middle of packing to leave for Nashville. But I just received the strings version of my song. So I really wanted to just listen to it right now. So I figured I would at least capture it on tape. Uh, he was nice, he said it was a pretty track. Hope you dig what I did. Let me know what you think. I want you to be 100% happy. Here's a full test mix with your track and my strings. Since I don't play any stringed instruments, how I did this with the string quartet is I sent him a track of me humming what I wanted the strings to do. It sounded like this. Here's what it ended up sounding like. And my reaction to it. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, so pretty. I'm so happy. Now I just need to figure out how to mix all these together. So now I just had to figure out how to get the vocals and how to get everything mixed together. But in the meantime, during this time, I had reached out to a producer in Nashville named James who had this on his Fiverr profile. Hi everyone, my name's James and I'm a music producer based in Nashville, Tennessee. Now I sent James a different song that I had written, one that I knew I wanted it to be very poppy. I told him I wanted it to be somewhere kind of like a Melanie Martinez kind of song. So he went ahead and made up the backing track and he had offered that I could record the vocals at his home studio in Nashville. So we went to Nashville. It's not like I'm already having a hard time. I don't want to be alone like this for me. But if you could see from the Yeah, that was the last. That, that was it. That okay. Was it. That was good. Now with James, he was a one-stop shop. So by the next day, we had the entire song done because he had done everything. He did all the mixing, mastering, everything, backing track, and then he took my vocals and put it all together. So here's what I sent him. Take a chance with me. And here's how it turned out. Take a chance with me. How could you come and save me from this? I don't want to be alone like this. Oh, that was 
was left was to get the vocals for the first song called Free. And here's where I cheated just a little bit. I went to a recording studio to do the vocals, but here's how that went. I pace tonight through my tears, I don't know why, but... Did I do the same thing again where it was really rough at the very first Everyone has had enough. Now, another big reason that I'm getting back into music is because about five or six months ago, my mom recently went blind, um, and she can't watch my movies anymore. So I thought music was one thing I could do that she could still enjoy. So here's her listening to that song you were just listening to. Now, here's her reaction to the pop song, Grey. She doesn't like that one as much. Very good. I like the other one better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I liked what they did, but it was kind of like... Like a haunted house type feel. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like a haunted house? <laughs> no, like, you know, you're... Uh, <laughs> Where's the other one? Pretty, pretty. So, one month later and almost $1,000 in, so it still ended up being pretty expensive, I have two demos and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite parts. Um, the first one that I got completed was gray and here's part of that one. I've got no one to hold. Could you come and save me? And then the second one that I did, but actually the first one that I started was free. And here's that one. When the pain lightens, but in my head I still am frightened. I close my eyes and try to breathe. Terrified of my future and past. Wondering how long this will last. Well, I have got to choose to believe. I'm really glad that I got two songs that are so different. I'm really happy with both of them, and I'm excited to get more done. If you liked either of them, the snippets that I showed, please let me know. Um, I'm trying now to like pitch them to publishers. One thing to like, you know, try to pitch yourself as an artist and send out your demo to labels and try to put yourself online. But when you're trying to sell a song without like giving it away yet, you know, like without putting it online because you want someone else to have it. It's very confusing. So if any of you guys out there watching this also have any tips, I would be happy to hear them. Um, but I'm really happy I got this done. I'm excited to learn more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. This video took like a month to make and has been my most expensive video to date. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.